clean eating. What's that? Uh, well, I heard it was some kind of diet, and I'm supposed to go out and spend all my money on like all this bland food, and anybody got time for that? So, what? So what exactly is clean eating? Well, I'm going to read it to you. It says clean eating is a dietary approach that advocates consuming food in its most natural state. Uh, the benefits of clean eating include weight loss, increased energy, and all around improved health. There is no singular definition for clean eating, which often leads to confusion about the practice. Um, I don't necessarily think it's a practice. I just think, you know, it's... It's um, so much stuff in food that, you know, it's probably better to try to eat things in its natural state. So in its natural state would be more like saying um, how I've even heard people say, don't uh, go with apple juice. You're better to eat an apple than apple juice because of the process it goes through, even though it's still natural, um, which I'm not there. Or um, uh, like the box fish. I was looking away, not at something, but thinking. Um, my box fish sticks, like it, it probably would be better to, according to the clean eating, to make my own fish sticks instead of going with Tyson or something like that. So that's pretty much what, um, clean eating is. And an easy way to, um, if you're just starting out and you want to get, you know, you say you want to get started, where, where can I start? Um, I would start with your, like your fruits and vegetables. Try to or when you're at the grocery store, try to shop the outer aisles first and then do the inside because when, what I mean by outer, you have your, well, most stores have their fruit in their, their produce section and then your meat and then um, produce, meat, uh, help me Lord, <laughs> and like your dairy and stuff. I can't think, I don't, my, my brain is going crazy. So you have your... I'm in the grocery store and I pass the produce with my fruits and my veggies then I go through my meat and then you pass where your cheese and um, your yogurt and your milk and stuff is and eggs. Eggs are very important. Um, so you would start there and see what you can do in your price range. I shop at, at a whole food store first somewhere like Costco's or Sam's or BJ's. I don't have a Costco's or a BJ's. I go to Sam's Club and they have for example, I get a big bag of fresh bro broccoli, fresh broccoli, and it's $3. And it lasts me a week. Um, and I also get green beans from there, and they're like 2 bucks. So I would start there first with your fruits and your vegetables and whatever you can get. You just want to kind of, if you, you know, when you're serious, you'll sit there and you'll do your research. So this is just kind of like a, a crash course, so to say, so to speak. So you go in, you get whatever fruits and vegetables you like. Um, or if you feel like the prices of the fresh vegetables are too high, then go with frozen and I mean frozen to my understanding the vegetables are fro they're um they're flash frozen meaning they're they're boiled or whatever to keep the color and then they're immediately frozen um so and those are picked when they're ripe too so pretty much they're frozen when they're ripe um so that's a good that way to continue to have your fruits and vegetables and then if you absolutely can't do frozen um then as a last resort I would do canned and when you do canned you want to make sure that it's reduced or no sodium. Um, some other things that you can pick up to start out your your uh, cleaning new pantry would be like beans, black beans, pinto beans, kidney beans, stuff like that. And like I said, when you do the beans, you want to make sure that it's reduced sodium or no sodium at all. Or if it does, then you just want to rinse them off. Same thing with the vegetables. If you can't find it, sometimes it's cheaper if it doesn't say no sodium. But when, before you use it, just make sure you pour all the little juice out or whatever it's called and run run some water over it um so that's pretty much where i started with the fruits and the vegetables the um brown rice is um pretty reasonably priced and then i switched from whole grain uh pasta i mean two whole grain pasta and, two, and whole grain pasta is now like a dollar um and so from there then that's where you build your recipes and i get my recipes from places like allrecipe.com or in in Pinterest because Pinterest or even just do like a random uh, Google search for um, like one day I wanted some soup and I had uh, what was it I had some butternut squash 
and some avocado. So I just put in butternut squash and avocado soup and it came a recipe came up and I made it and it was good. Or or sometimes I'll see a recipe and I'll change it. Like you'll find stuff that has um there was something I just made and I changed it. I changed something up. It called for like a different kind of bean and I didn't have it. Or it called for a seasoning that I didn't have and because I'm kind of familiar with the seasonings now I switched them up. So I think you have to be creative and if you're willing to some people say, Well, you know, the whole losing weight thing, I don't really feel like changing it up, then that's not for, if it's not it's not for you. But if it's something that you're willing to you sit down and you work at, okay, I have this much money, I'm gonna go buy me a big old pack of chicken and I'm gonna make this chicken last me for however many days. I use this chicken for some fajitas, I'm gonna use this chicken for a soup and I'm gonna use this chicken for I don't know, you know. Um, and then you think about what you have because most of the time I don't know what I'm gonna make It's either something I have made before or like I said, I use my trusty device This is a miracle wonder something or other Yes, baby Team Apple. Um, So there I think I went over to say what clean eating was um, Where to start with you know what to get and then how to get your recipes Another thing, so that your food is not bland, look for um, spices. Not necessarily seasoning, like seasoning salt and stuff like that, but spices. You know, you have, it. just experiment. Get some curry powder. There's uh, chili powder. Um, or you'll have these little seasoning blends, like rubs and stuff. But you still want to check the sodium when you do, when you do those. Um, Mrs. Dash, I think it's always no sodium. Um, what else do I have in there? Just random pepper. Or when you cook, make sure you always have. I always cook with onion, garlic, and bell pepper. Um, I think that's it. So to keep your food from and not eating the same thing, use your Miracle Wonder device and search. Pinterest is my best friend, and all recipe is my best friend. Um, I will put the links to both of those and down below. Um, and, um, and I think in the next one, the, my next video, I will show how I go start to finish, even brainstorming and everything with what I have in my fridge. And most of the time it's the same, unless I find something on sale, then I'll change it up. So, oh, I believe that is it. I don't think I talked about the meat, but that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I don't eat pork a whole lot, but it's not like it's uh, a no-no. Um, I most of the time I do chicken and turkey and fish. I don't really eat a lot of beef and I don't eat a lot of pork, unless like it's a cheap meal and I really want like a real burger because sometimes ground turkey is too drying. But it's doable if you are willing to put in that work and make that sacrifice and have your cheat meals. I think that's where people go wrong when they diet you don't have to stick by this every single day unless it's something that you want to do and you've gotten so used to this food that going to other foods you don't even like i remember you know thanksgiving i was sick after i ate all that food so it was good for the moment so you just have to weigh what's important for you um i think that's it so consistency is key make sure you shop your outer aisles and then look at your budget budget and also if you coupon um, that'll give you room for stuff that doesn't have a coupon. Like I've not found coupons for uh, fresh foods yet, but if I have coupons for, excuse me, coupons for my pasta or my uh, brown rice, then that frees up some money that I can use to spend on my eggplant and stuff like that. And so don't be afraid to adventure out into fruits and vegetables that you haven't used before. Um, I think that's it. Before I just keep talking about nothing. Until next time.